Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. Uh, so today we're going to talk about task plan creation. So how to create and execute task plan. Now this question is often asked for mid-level, senior level Q engineers. Uh, this question is also often asked for automation Q engineers. So I'm going to have ChatGPT help me out. Uh, also, I'll give you some examples for the task plan, test matrix, uh, overall agile process. Now the examples also are going to be the files going to be available for download with Patreon for the tier that has like $5 a month tier. So you have all the files starting from the $5 subscription tier in Patreon. So if you want to check them out now, I want to tell you that the files I'm going to provide with this video are informational. So this is based on my own experience. Now what you might have, could depend on the industry where you're at, where you're interviewing at, the formatting for your uh, test plans, things might be different for you. So take this as an information, maybe something you can kind of take into account when preparing for the interview. But again, also make sure when you're preparing for the interview, you're looking at the industry and what kind of a task plan that industry normally expects, right? when you're preparing. Okay, so let me share my screen and we go with chat GPT first. The question, how to create and execute test plan in a common interview question for quality assurance positions. Here's structured response you can use. So first thing you have to understand the requirements, right? So begin by thoroughly understanding the project or product requirements. This is foundation of your test plan, right? So asking a good question, uh, what are we testing here? What is needed uh, is very important. Then define test objectives. So clearly state the goals of your testing. What are you trying to achieve through testing? Then you have to identify the scope. Determine the scope of your testing, what features or aspects of the product will you be testing, be specific. Then you have to gather necessary resources. So identify and gather the resources you will need for testing, such as test environments, test data, and testing tools. Then you want to plan test cases, so create detailed test cases that specify what needs to be tested. Each test case should include input data, expected results, and steps to execute. You have to prepare test data, ensure that you have the required test data, both valid and invalid, to conduct your test effectively. Automate or manual testing, decide which part of the testing will be automated and which will be done manually. Consider factors like efficiency and criticality. Uh, step eight, document test plans. So create a comprehensive document that outlines the objective, scope, resources, schedule, and specific testing methodologies or standards to be followed. Uh, test nine, uh, step nine, set aside test schedule. So set test schedule, establish ta timeline for your testing activities, prioritize tests based on critical features and project needs. Uh, and then 10, identify risks. So assess potential risks that could affect testing and develop a plan to manage or mitigate them, okay? So then execution phase. So execute test cases, so start running test cases. You are defined, ensuring that you follow the steps uh, meticulously. Uh, record test results. Uh, so document the outcomes of tests, include both passes and failed test cases, as well as any defects you discover. Regression testing. So after fixing defects, we run the affected test cases and perform regression testing to ensure that new changes don't introduce new issues. Status reporting. So regularly update your team and stakeholders about the progress of testing. This includes test execution status, defects found, and any deviations from the plan. Traceability. Ensure that your test cases are linked to the requirements they cover. This helps in traceability and understanding test coverage. Uh, six, adapt to changes. Be flexible and adapt the test plan if required based on emergent issues, changes, requirements, or foreseen situations. And then seven, closure and reporting. Once all test cases are executed and exit criteria met, complete the testing phase and provide summary report of the tests and activities to stakeholder. Okay, so ChatGPT is giving pretty, you know, descriptive follow through plan as if you would do on the job uh, when you have a lot of time you can to prepare the test plan and execution all of this is accurate right one thing though if you're in the interview process uh what might be different you know you will not going to have all that time uh to show all of this right maybe they want you to provide a quick draft uh so you don't want to sh sh start kind of okay i'm going to have this big thing because it's going to look like you're stalling, right? If you have to deliver all of that, explain all of that, it's going to be a lot. So uh, the very first thing that I would do, and this is kind of covered here, 
uh, is I would uh, start with asking, you know, for some clarification on the task, like um, how deep the task plan going to go? What kind of task plan are we talking about? Is there going to be like regression? Is that around specific module? Would you like images? Like how much of that stuff is going to be there, right, for the task plan? So once that cleared out, once you kind of clarified what is expected, then you can start working on the task plan. And here I would suggest you just uh, to create a high level documentation where you have a little set of test cases that you can provide an examples of the test plan. So high level documentation is a test plan, some test cases within the test plan, maybe a bunch that you can show, uh, short descriptions for each test case, what they do, provide screenshots if needed, if the section is able, if, you know, if you're able to take a section of the, uh, where the test is executed. Uh, have like nice arrows and pointers showing of what is actually being done. Uh, so, um, and provide a couple positive and negative scenarios. All right. So that's what I would do during the interview. Now, let me give you some examples. Files are downloadable on Patreon, uh, starting from the uh, $5 tier, but I want you to see it now. And if you need to, to use those files as guidance, you can download it. Um, so, let's take a look at the war test plan first right so that the one that i would kind of have as very kind of high level let's start on this test plan so you have your test plan example that's a login screen prepared in version here paging date uh whatever it needs to go here so document history, release, uh, date, whose author, revision for the document. Then you have contents that's coming from the test plan. Uh, within the test plan, you have some overview. So uh, the background for the test plan, your test scope, uh, what kind of uh, priority test cases you will be executing, uh, what kind of environments, equipments you're gonna be taking, supported browsers, supported devices. There's a note uh, where I'm getting all of this uh, kind of uh, most popular browsers and most popular devices as a reference here to the uh, stat counter. Then there is some preconditions. So for the setting for preconditions, and here uh, starts our uh, valid login, valid, uh, invalid login. You can insert images here for the uh, test cases. Then let's go for the list uh, of test scenarios. So high level priority P0 test cases and the very first one module login and the very first test case verify user can log in with valid credentials. Uh, description what operator scenarios here. So it's just the list here. Uh, then a list of P2 test cases. Again, a list, uh, so module ID for a scenario and uh, uh, very, the description for the scenario, right? Whatever description there is. Uh, then we go into steps and screenshots. So then you go and grab that scenario. So let's say the very first one, verify user can log in with valid credentials uh, within the login module. So this can be like login module, right? You can download it, edit it. It's just kind of gives you the format of the whole thing. And over here, you would have a screenshot for the login page, right? You have steps to uh, execute, so navigate, uh, to log in, fill out valid username, fill out valid password, click on login button, expect result, user should log in. Uh, you might include the test data here, like login password for test environment, or have it stored somewhere else where everyone knows where to get it. Uh, might might uh, have to, you know, uh, have like special permission for whoever's testing it to actually be able to go get the credentials. So this is overview for test plan example uh, in doc, right? But also what you can have, you can have a test matrix and this test matrix, uh, again, draft for it is right here. I'm gonna show it to you. So for the test matrix, uh, you have a high level on execution. So like amount of pass fail, what failed, date of executed, module that was executed, coverage, escape, uh, defect escape rate, if you need this. Uh, then you can go like in the master page. So within the master page, you can have all of the test cases that are gonna be executed. And then you can have execution date page. So 
let's say you executed this test case and it passed. And then here you can also have test data required for the test case execution. So on the master page, we have this valid login PB11 uh, test case, the exactly same one that we saw here, PB11, right? So navigate to login, fill out valid username, all that stuff. So here is our test case name, valid login, test case ID, priority P0, so the highest priority description. So verify user can log in with valid credentials, steps uh, required to uh, execute this. Then there's link to the test data. So I click on that, it takes me to the test case here. Uh, and for the test data, there's username and password needed to execute this test case. Uh, expect a result, user should log in, time to execute two minutes, status. So it's status if when you run it, uh, story, test to link. So if there's Jira, uh, specific like requirement exit feature that was uh, you know implemented, ticket, you can have it here, some comments if you need it. And then when you execute it, you just go through the scenario. If it passes, you mark pass. And again, you can have all of those scenarios in the test matrix. So uh, this test matrix is essentially, uh, you know, your test plan, right? Okay, so this file is also available. Um, so this file is also available uh, for download. So again, high level, kind of where you at right now, master with all test cases then specific date and execution was a status pass fail and the test data required was in the matrix, right? And uh, the last one that I wanted to share. So this is all about like you know, more of a structured approach in kind of a, maybe like basic agile, classic agile, waterfall, more kind of regulated uh, corporate industry, right? If we talk about agile startup, uh, most likely you're not going to have time to create test plans and manage test plans. Everything's going to be based on the features in the pipeline. So it's going to be very hands-on, very fast. But if you need to identify some sort of kind of a, let's say, regression test plan, that's my approach that I would take with Agile. So um, test plan creation was an Agile. So first thing that I would do is break app in modules. So let's say there's module one, module two, whatever, login section, log out section, reset password section, whatever that might be. Then uh, within modules, you should work with a project manager to identify critical use uh, flow. So let's say user logs in, then he clicks on search, finds product, adds it to cart and checks out. And then each module, you know, it goes through each module. So you can identify the flow. Then within the flow for each module, you can create high level checklist for core functionality. Login, checked, searched, checked, added to cart, checked, paid, checked, uh, product purchase checks, something like that. And then you can break as a final step, you can break this checklist uh, and kind of under this checklist, under each check, you can develop test cases based on the checklist. So uh, very high level checklist, within that checklist, you start to develop test cases, expanding them, like adding negative, positive within checklist for that functionality. So this way you can develop pretty uh, comprehensive test plan and being flexible and kind of cover core functionality. Okay, so hopefully this helps. I know it's a little bit a lot, but uh, you know, rewatch this video, take some notes, uh, try and kind of recreate. You can even pause the screen and if you don't want to, to go on Patreon and type it out, uh, kind of just copy the test plan. So you have this template, uh, have a template of a test matrix, try playing with some uh, app online and maybe go through like agile process, like creating checklists and then within the checklist, start creating test case, see how it works for you. Again, for interview question, uh, normally you would not need to create a very long test plan and explain everything uh, because it's, you're not gonna have enough time. But what you really want to do first, ask interviewer like what is expected what are you looking for what are we focusing on then based on that information you can define like a scope for your test plan what needs to be covered and then create some test cases some examples so a couple of modules within those modules positive negative test cases coverage the outcome again steps uh, in each test case um, expected results that should be enough all right so this was alex usa days uh thanks for watching and bye bye